I am Egg! <laughs> Welcome to Egg Town. We are fully embracing all of the eggs. Alright. Let's check the mail. Hold on just a sec. What? KK Dixie. A new resident moved to a plot you set up. As a small token of our appreciation, we put 1,000 Nook Miles into your account. We hope you spend them on something that makes you happy. So, yesterday after we finished our last episode, I went ahead and set up all of the rest of the plots so that way we can have 10 villagers. So now, we have Anakati, who moved in. She's a little mouse, as you can see. Uh, we need to go check out... Uh, Jeremiah's house now today since he should be fully moved in and uh, yeah I have to say this new event is absolutely awful <laughs> I didn't think it would be all that bad but honestly like I would say there's like a 33% chance that you catch an egg when you fish which doesn't sound that bad but when all you're doing is catching eggs, it gets really annoying. What is this? I've been getting a lot of Sakura DIY stuff too. Oh, yep, Cherry Blossom Clock. Same thing. So I guess because it's str uh, spring, we're getting a lot of stuff like that in. Uh, I've been getting tons of eggs. As you can see, I made a whole outfit of eggs. Uh, and other than that, uh, we're just kind of chilling. Let's go introduce ourselves really quick. Even though, I mean, I've already talked to her once because I, I found her on an island last night. I was going to try to go ahead and get all three people that I needed to move in because that's our next step as far as like progressing with Tom Nook goes. Is to uh, get all of our villager slots taken up. I think you can have ten villagers in your town. so But you can only do one at a time, so... I took your advice. I bailed on everything and everyone I knew. I moved here. I live here now. Walking distance from your house. You! The only person I know here. We are going to talk so much. Probably won't talk all that much, but I'll try my best. See you, Anakati. She's cool, though. Little green mouse. Never really had many mice villagers in any of my towns, so... Figured that would be kind of cool. What are you doing, Filbert? Or, not Filbert. Raymond. What's up, Dylan? Wanna chat? There's nothing like spring on Hampton. I'm just basking in it. Well, that is great. See if there's any dig spots behind here. Doesn't look like there is. Alright. As always, let me run through and do all of my... Is that a new butterfly? Hello? Gimme. What is that? Madagascan Sun Moth. Or Sunset Moth. I think I already have that, actually. Yeah, because it didn't light up my Critterpedia. There are a lot of really cool um, bugs and stuff in this new month. There is one bug that only will show up on... Uh, I think it's blue flowers, or like rare like hybrid flowers. So we need to try to get some of those, so that way we can work on getting that bug because as far as I know I've gotten I got all of the ones for like all of the March exclusives or whatever or maybe not exclusives is the wrong word but I got all of the critters that we could get that were leaving in March so that way there's no sort of uh, trouble there as far as making sure that our critterpedia is as full as it can be uh, there's a couple of uh, stuff that leaves at the end of this month that I gotta make sure that I try to get like the blue marlin is leaving but the weird thing about that one is you can only catch it uh, on the pier. And I'm not really over at the pier a whole lot. So the best way to do that is to use fish food. And digging up the clams and making fish food is really tedious and stuff. So I hate doing it. But I need to get it done sometime this month before it ends. So that way I don't have to worry about waiting until the next month for it to show up. But uh, other than that... Everything else is going pretty good. 
So let me run through really quick. I'm going to grab all of these fossils and such, and uh, we'll check on some stuff around town. Oh, okay. So this is like a, like, nah, I don't know how rare it is, but if your villagers have fleas, you can catch the fleas off of your villagers, and they'll thank you for it. Whoa, did you just pick a flea off me? Thanks. The bugs in my floors warned me about the bugs in my bed, but I didn't listen, knee-deep. And also, while we're here, I picked up a book, and I talked to Drago and asked him, and he said it's probably Jeremiah's. So, here you go. Is this... It is! It's my picture book that I lost. Thanks for getting this for me. Uh, you deserve a reward. Hey, a shirt. Thanks again. It's some farmer overalls. Oh boy. Unfortunately, since he's outside, that means that we're not going to be able to see his house. But, it's alright. Now we can be Farmer John. Uh, let me grab the rest of these fossils, though, really quick. Alrighty. So, we're all squared away. I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff. But, once again... This drunk man is washed up on our shores again, so... Hello, Gulliver. Come on, just get up already. We know the routine. Come on! One more. Murph. Good morning, or evening! Vision's fuzzy. How are you this fine whatever time of day it is? Say, is that my favorite landlubber, Dylan? It is! Ahoy! Good thing your head is so huge makes it pretty easy to identify your blurry silhouette. Would you like to hear how I ended up back on your beach this time? Yeah, I thought you might. There, there I was, battling a dozen, no, two dozen sea monsters. I was holding my own until one of them landed a devastating tickle attack. Sent me tumbling overboard. Kasploosh, paddle, flail, blur, blah, 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 blah. Next thing I know, I'm being poked back to life on this very beach. Buoy, talk about a close call. Canoe, believe it. Ha. Oh, canoe, believe it. I think that was a bad pun. Uh, that's your cue to laugh. Have you heard these before? Well, I'd love to stay and chat for several more hours, but the ocean is calling my name. Time to summon a rescue. Yep, and that is our cue. We're going to have to find his communicator parts again. Yeah, I'll look for him. So, I think the good part about this is, if I'm not mistaken from the thing that I was reading, if you get Gulliver, I think it said 30 different times, which seems like a lot. You can potentially get the Golden Shovel, I think. So that would be really cool, but, I mean, that's going to take quite a while. But hey, we got nothing but time. Any fishies? No fishies. Alright, let's look for these little communicator parts. Alrighty. Hey, did you find them? Got them right here. There you go. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. Alright, the pieces are crammed back in there. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Oh, hey there, crew. It's me. Blah, 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 blah. We've heard this a million times already. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that will knock your flippers off. Just make sure to put your flippers back on. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yep, I've heard it all, Gulliver. I've heard it all. Sea flicker. Flea flicker. Dang, there's a commendation point for getting fleas off of your villagers. Alrighty, let's go assess some fossils really quick, and then I think we're going to go try to talk to Tom Nook and see what is up. Check our ABD for the day and get our daily Nook points. 
We may we might as well go ahead and check out the uh, well. Let me do the uh, museum first. So that way we can sell anything we don't need. Dang, they already have all of these fossils. So, I mean, I guess that's just gonna get converted into money for us. So, not a huge deal. Although I would like to get the collection done, we'll just donate this flea. And he's gonna get upset that it's a bug. Ah, a flea! Alright, we're good. Let's just go sell this stuff off. We're gonna check what's in the store, and then we'll even go check out the uh, clothing. See if anything has changed for the day. And then we'll, uh, we'll go talk to Nook for a minute. Okay, so... It looks like he has some stuff that we already have. Today might not be a great day for our Animal Crossing endeavors. Just because there's really not a whole lot that we can do today. Uh, we'll just get rid of all those. Uh, I'll keep the clam for now. Yep, that's fine. Because we already have that amp. We already have uh, this little stove thing. I'm not really worried about that little jewelry set. We'll buy this just because. Inflatable sofa. Okay. Let's check and see if there's any cool wallpapers or flooring. Camo wall, heart pattern wall, purple rose wall, purple quilt wall, blue er, blue desert tile flooring. Um, cute blue tile flooring. Let's buy this blue desert tile flooring for our bathroom, just for just for the time being. We might find something else that we like better, but uh, that should work for now. While I was out, I did shoot. Or I got our message in a bottle for the day. Uh, the other day I was coming up with a new strength routine when I, uh, when a great DIY idea hit me instead. I was so amped up I did a triple set right then. Oh, and I wrote this. Now go get those arms building. Now you got skills. Cousteau. Tree standy. Okay, so it's just another one of those little, like, cardboard cutout things that we can put around the town. Unfortunately, I shot down two balloons and got two different bunny day fences, so we'll just sell one of those. And then we got our egg message in a bottle, which is a bunny day glowy garland. Not sure what that's going to look like. Let me see those. So there's the tree standy, pretty standard. Tree or cherry blossom clock. That actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, glowing garland is kind of meh. Bunny day fence is meh. I'm not super interested in any of that stuff. It's way too like colorful and like out of place looking for me to really care about it. Okay, let me sell this sofa back and then we'll go check out the April sisters. Alrighty, so this is officially the third day in a row that these are still here. I forgot to talk to Mabel, or Sable yesterday. If you need something, could you talk to the other hedgehog, please? <laughs> Understood. And let me check out what the full inventory has. Hopefully something to get this egg suit off of us. Bulldog jacket. Interesting. Oh, it's got a little dog on the back of it, too. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> That's kind of a cool hat. Kind of goes with the outfit that we've got. Oh my god, these are like Crocs. And I think that is good. I'm not really interested in the rest of this. So, new outfit. Oh yeah. 
Wow, you look great. Thanks for your business. Thank you. Alrighty. <laughs> Completely unnecessary buy, but hey, man. Nice to have some style every once in a while. Let me drop some of this stuff off at the house really quick, and uh, yeah. Alrighty. Inventory is all cleaned up. Oh, sorry, Jeremiah. What's up, buddy? Hey again, you keep checking up on me today, huh? Let's chat. I was out for a walk and saw land for sale. I already have some land, but I guess there's more now. You know what they say, never buy land. They'll just make more of it. I don't think they say that, actually. Let me grab these leaf eggs, because I don't really have a whole lot of these. Oh, no. You know what that is? You know what he just learned? That's right. He just learned... The outfit for leaf eggs. Oh boy, isn't that fantastic? I'm gonna have an outfit for each individual egg. Thank you so much, Animal Crossing. Anyways, now that that's over, and I'm done ranting, let me run in here. Alright, I don't think they're going to say anything to me today because there's really nothing for them to say to me. I don't really have any need to use that right now. We'll check this. If there's a cardboard box in here, I'm mad. Oh, I am mad. <laughs> Bow bla blossom. What is that? What is it? Tell me. Oh, that's not for me. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, really quick, before we get out of here for today, I know this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode because there's not a whole lot going on today, uh, we are going to head over to a deserted island with one of our Nook Miles tickets and see if we can find a new villager to move into one of these empty plots. And if there's not one on there today, I would assume we'll have to wait for uh, Anacati to move all the way in and be finished moving in before we can do that, I guess. But as far as I know, we should be able to find somebody. Like, I think now that she's actually moved in and she's on our little uh, map, like it shows her as part of the residence and everything, we should be good. So let's see if we can find somebody. Well, I already see somebody's ear over there. The only catch is I don't want it to be an animal we already have. Oh no. It's a rhino. Unfortunately, although he is cool and he has a leaf on the back of his head, uh, we are not going to ask him to move in. I'll go talk to him really quick just to see what his name is, but I'd rather use a different ticket. Tank. I think I've seen this guy before. Like honestly, I think I've I think I've seen him in one of the previous Animal Crossing games that I've played. Can I there we go. Alright, let me grab some stuff here, maybe, uh, depending, all of these fish seem to be about the same size, I'm wondering if this is a big fish island, I think these fish already might be a little too small for it to be a big fish island, but, um, let me look around a little bit and then I'll just meet you guys on the next island. Alrighty, here we are on island number two. Let's see who may or may not be here. There's somebody. Hello? Do we have a teddy bear? I want to say no. Oh, we're not custom designs. What? I don't think we have a bear, do we? Because we have... Um, we have a squirrel. We have a sheep. Uh, we have a frog. We have an alligator slash dragon. We have a mouse. We have a cat. 
And we have an anteater. So no, we don't have a, a bear. I would like for our last villager to be a dog, if possible. But I know that you can, there's two different kinds of monkeys in the game as well. You can get like a, a chimp, like more of like a smaller monkey. Or you can get like an ape, which is like the bigger, like burlier sort of monkeys. Um, and I want to say that there's another kind of animal that you can get as well, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. He's cool, though. I like him. Cody. Cody, the little blue bear. He'll fit in really good with Jeremiah. Well said. I'm sorry, I wasn't even listening to you. He's talking about abs. Oh my god, is everyone that comes to my town just going to be a fitness nut? I mean, that's fine and all, but... Give Sheldon someone to be friends with. That's fine. Oh well. Sheldon will need needs new friends anyway. But at least we got Cody. New animal. And I think he is... I think he... I think that's number nine. Like a villager number nine. So once we get one more villager... Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll grab one. Uh, we should be full on residents. And then we can start uh, working on whatever else Tom Nook wants us to work on. Or, well, I think he's wanting us to get our town score up. But for us to do that, the town needs more residents so that way Isabel can pull more information from them and see what I need to work on. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for today little bit of a less exciting episode but you know can't all be crazy gotta have some chill laid back days so uh anyways yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh i'll see you tomorrow